every single minute You know I want you Hi guys, it's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a worst reviewed makeup artist video. I know these have been trending and going around a lot lately and I wanted to go find if there was like a really bad makeup place around me. And I surprisingly found one because I'm actually here in Manhattan and as I like spent hours last night looking. but. I finally found one that's like under three stars. It's two stars, I think, or one and a half stars. And let me read some of the reviews. Okay, so I'm not gonna give the name of this place because I don't wanna like talk bad upon someone's business and I just don't feel comfortable doing that. But I will read the reviews. They're like really bad. One review says that they're absolutely untrained, unprofessional people working here for hair. They charge in full but are not trained to do the job. Do not go here. Another review says they are horrible. Just they are horrible. <laughs> there are also a few, um, I would say that these reviews are written by the actual salon because it says that if you think of doing your eyebrows, eyelashes, and facial, I recommend go to Manhattan. Whenever I go there, oh my god. I find myself I find myself more beautiful than ever. Okay, that is so funny. I don't think anyone would say that like themselves about someone. And then another review says, do not go to this place, worst customer service. This place is a sham. I went there to get my eyebrows waxed and the lady waxed off my entire eyebrow. Oh, turns out she is here on a visitor's visa and doesn't have a work permit or a cosmetology license. She is here from India on a visitor's visa and this place hired her. I was so outraged. Another person says, well, I would describe this spot as comical with very poor organization, freezing cold, and there was a lack of confidence from the staff. So a lot of people are saying that the staff there is really rude and they're very disorganized and also someone says it's freezing cold in there and that's my biggest pet peeve ever. I hate when places are cold and don't turn on the heat because it's New York City. We just had a snowstorm yesterday. Like. It's freezing. You have to turn on the heat. There was this one really funny review I saw on Yelp about them and this girl got her winged eyeliner done and it, it was so funny. So she wrote, how is this even a smoky eye? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, let's call them to see if I have anything available for today. Hi, I'm looking to get my makeup done. Yes. Um, how much do you guys charge for makeup? Uh, what are you coming? Today or tomorrow? I want to come today. Okay, hold on. Okay. Babi, how much do you charge? Come, come. Makeup, come here. One second, okay? Okay. Okay, they shouldn't be yelling like Hi, that. Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, I'm looking to get my makeup done today. What time do you want to come? Um, how much do you guys charge? 45. 45? Okay. Without hair. Yeah, no hair, just makeup. Um, 45. what time is good for you? What time is good for you? Um, how about 3.30? Okay. That's good? You're good, good. Okay. 3.30, right? Yeah, 3.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da my name is Daisy. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I never had an experience like that before. He just like he yelled at the other woman and I could understand her. That's so unprofessional to be yelling at someone across the room when you're on the phone with a client. She didn't even take down my name or anything and then she just hung up on me without saying bye. Let's see how this goes. Here is my outfit. I'm wearing these boots from K 
Caterpillar. This top is from Brandy Melville. The coat's from Zara. Jeans are from American Eagle. Necklace, my boyfriend gave me. Um, this is from Brandy Melville. I still have to actually take off my makeup before I go. So I'll do that right now. I have makeup wipes in my bag. Okay, no makeup. Hello, Daisy? Yes. Yes. So I forgot to show you the look I want to do. I'm going to show them this picture. Um, here. Let's see how it looks on the outside. I want something like this. Winged eyeliner, dewy, natural. Natural. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I am Parveen, okay. Dr. Rani is my boss. Oh, okay. Yes. Can I, uh, can I make a call? Huh? Can I make a call first? Yes, sure. Like this. Have you been doing makeup for a long time? Nine, nine years. Oh wow! You've been working here for nine years, or six years? Six Maybe years. Something. Yeah. You need eyebrow threading too, right? Ah, uh, no, it's no. okay. <laughs> okay.
Do you see your natural eye? Yeah. They're long. Very pretty. Thank you. Do like this. Open. Take a look. Amazing. Your nose looking more sharp. Yeah. Bones, everything. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Let's talk about this. Ooh. So this is the final look. There's a lot to say about it, but I'm just going to show you guys how it looks right now. It was up close. Okay, we're back in my apartment. First thing, I'm just gonna show you guys my makeup. Let's just zoom in and have a close up here. Like, what? What is this? I so okay, the eyebrows are fine. The eyebrows are fine, but the mascara is here. The eyeliners don't even match up if you guys can see. This one's like thicker and goes more up like that, and this one's like. Okay, it doesn't even match the picture that I showed her. This is the picture, and this is what I got. Look. And this is like bronzy pink. The face makeup is okay. It's just like a harsh line. My nose contour is really, really bad. The gloss, oh, we will talk about the gloss. So. The first thing I noticed when I first walked in is that I wasn't really greeted. I was just like, hi, I called in for my makeup at 3.30 and they were like, okay, have a seat. Yeah, so she was doing another lady's waxing on her forehead. There was another employee there and she was just sitting on one of the chairs watching her video so loud. The sound was so loud. It was very unprofessional. And then I started noticing that main employee there i think she was the manager she she didn't own the salon though she was very disorganized and just running around everywhere you guys saw that in the video where she was just like running around everywhere and then sometimes she would just disappear for like moments at a time okay so another guy came in while i was waiting for the manager to be done with the lady and the guy comes in and he's he wants like a trimming done and um yeah so then they were like oh it's 105 and then the guy was like i came here last time and it was 59 and then they started like i could tell they started getting like uncomfortable and they didn't really know what to say and then i started getting scared i was like what if she does that to me because Originally she told me it was 45 and then what if she hikes the price up, but that didn't happen to me But it happened to him. So I'm guessing it happened to other people too. Oh my god. It was Freezing in there. It was so cold. It was so uncomfortable She didn't have any heat on like they were like mini heaters, but they weren't even on the manager was wearing her jacket indoors It was cold like if you have to wear your jacket indoors and if you're cold, that means like wear cold too. Okay, now talking about the makeup process. First of all, she didn't wash her hands when she started putting makeup on with her hands on my face. She did not wash her hands. Secondly, the brushes that she was using on me, they were used because I looked at them. And you know how when you use your brushes, they have like that discoloration to them and then you can tell like there's powder and stuff still in them. 
They were used, they weren't cleaned, they were so hard. While she was like doing this all over my face, she was doing it so hard. Yeah, she did the contour. She tried to do the blush. There's barely any highlighter on my face. Oh, and also the makeup that she was using, it was like weird brands, like brands that I never heard of before. The makeup smelled like it was really old. Now going on to the eyes, once again, the eye brushes were so hard. Tugging on my eyes so much when she was trying to do the mascara. The mascara. The mascara was old. It was a little sample size mascara. It was a very old mascara. You can tell when a mascara is old. And she didn't even use, like she used the same applicator that the mascara came in. She didn't even use a different applicator. The lips, she glossed on that gloss so much and she used the same applicator, which is disgusting. My lips are tingling so much. It's not good at all. Yeah, so this was a really fun experiment to film because I wasn't really expecting it to go this bad, but it did and it's actually quite funny okay guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed filming it please like subscribe and comment what you guys want to see next and i'll see you guys in the next video bye okay so i just wanted to update you guys i washed my face and my eyes are burning so much I feel like they're getting puffy and they keep watering. My lips are like numb. Like, I don't know, they look, they're looking really weird. Like, look. Isn't that so weird? Please do not get your makeup done at unsanitary places. It's really not good for your face, your health. You can get like a really bad reaction from it. Oh my God. Ow. Okay. Magic in the eye, surprise. I wanna be the one to take you out at night. Alright, and if you wanted me to be your only one, I die, cause every time.